They save money, save energy, but are new light bulbs in and around your home putting your health at risk? Health editor Dr. Maria Simber shines some light on the potential dark side of LED lights. I used to like to lie in bed at night and look out at the sky. But now, this is Yolanta Bennell's view. There you go. A bedroom I had to turn into a tomb. Bennell says glare from the new LED street lamps on her block is so intense she put up blackout curtains. So that we could sleep at night. It's a growing annoyance as more and more towns and municipalities switch from orange sodium lights to longer lasting blue LEDs. But this glare may actually be the least of our concerns. There has not been consideration of the human health impacts, and that's what I very strongly object to. Professor Richard Stevens has spent more than 30 years studying the health effects of artificial light, including LEDs. There is no question too bright light, particularly blue, high, uh, short wavelength light in the evening, it has potent effects on our physiology. In particular, he says study after study shows it severely suppresses the production of melatonin, a much needed hormone. Increasing the risk of diabetes, obesity, depression. And potentially certain cancers. A study from Harvard found a greater risk of breast cancer in women who live in neighborhoods that have higher levels of outdoor lighting during the night. I think we don't know the individual environment. But oncologist Dr. Ramona Goldman says while the study raises some good questions, it does not make a definitive link, as with other known risk factors. Like smoking, uh, too much alcohol consumption. All experts agree more research is needed. But in the meantime, Dr. Goldman suggests do as Benal does. Close the blinds if you're very, very concerned. Make sure you get enough sleep. The American Medical Association is now encouraging communities to minimize blue lighting by using the lowest possible emission of blue light possible. If you use LED light bulbs at home, dim them in the evening. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA, TV News.